So I'm Lala Gibbonian and uh, Ali Adam, Bridget Flanagan, and Maria Lewis have all conceded their time to me. Um, and I actually do want to address the council and you know the objective of this ordinance as it's written is to make it safe for open citizens to protest in the city where everyone is repeating we're so proud of our history of protest. And that objective, I think, I, that's an important one, right? But it's important because it is not safe to protest in Oakland because over the past seven months, protesters, including peaceful protesters, have been, as people are saying, tear gas and shot at with rubber bullets and police projectiles and batoned and beaten and seriously injured. And OPD has arrested almost 800 protesters in the city in the past six months. So clearly, everyone agrees, it's not safe to politically protest in Oakland and to exercise your First Amendment rights to do so. On that, everyone seems to be agreed. Now, the point of contention is whether it's not safe to protest because of shields and spray paint or because of the Oakland police. protesters uncomfortable? Maybe. But don't you think that hundreds of police officers brought in for mutual aid in full riot gear from 8 in the morning makes peaceful protesters uncomfortable? Smell of tear gas at six in the morning make commuters uncomfortable. So I think that one thing that needs to be recognized here is the anger you're hearing in this room is a result of the fact that we feel that the Oakland Police Department has attacked us with a military force that involves tanks and tear gas and riot gear, and the response of the Public Safety Commission of our city council is to ban our shields. Now, whatever we think about the argument, that's the emotion that's sitting there. That's the reality. That's our history of the past six, seven months, right? Now, many people are asking, what's the problem? What's the problem with who needs a shield? Who needs, you know, spray paint at a peaceful protest? Now, and one thing is, many people have, have pointed out, uh, David Briggs pointed out all the ways that, that this ordinance can be manipulated. It may seem ridiculous to you that we're talking about camera pods and water bottles, but it's ridiculous to us when people are given $100 fines for umbrellas through a manipulation of an ordinance against the legal structure. It's ridiculous to us that someone whose bike raises the leg of a police officer is charged with felony assault. It's ridiculous to us that photographers are being chased down and attacked even when we're told we have a freedom of speech and press. Okay? So um, on that level, and there's also, you know, many people are going to speak to why we need shields, the danger of it. But there's a deeper problem here. The deepest, deepest problem here is you will set a precedent on the preemptive policing of protesters. This
has all the legal means to arrest people for those crimes, right? What we are asking is in the context of what we have all gone through in the past seven months, do not further, as a city council, do not further empower OPD to keep making bogus arrests. Out of the 800 protesters that have been arrested in the city in the past seven months, over 90% of them have never had charges filed. Whatever the city attorney is asking you for more power, first, before this gets passed,